Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. In this video, I'm making a gorgeous alcohol ink and resin bowl. And this is actually a fairly easy technique once you get the hang of it. So I'm using various alcohol inks directly onto my mold. There's no resin on here yet, but a key thing is I did pre-mix my resin before I started with my design. So I'll go over that in a little bit, but you wanna have your resin ready to go as soon as you're done with your alcohol ink design. Now I'm using very little amounts and I'm going from the center out to the edge. This is a flower design mold, so it's textured in the middle there. And so I'm kind of working around that. And I'm using Ranger and Pinata alcohol inks. For this piece, I decided to go with some purple, blue, and pink, as well as some silver and white. And you can use, of course, any colors for this. But a really key point is do not use a lot of alcohol ink. If you use too much, uh, your resin won't cure and it can remain a little bit sticky and kind of still wet on the bottom where the alcohol ink has pooled. In the center, I'm using white and silver only. And that's going to be kind of the center of my flower. And that will also push out the other colors and lighten them up. As the other thing I've seen happen is people make these a little bit too dark. So that white really helps and the silver also helps a little bit. And you can see that there's not a lot of alcohol ink on this at all. So as soon as you're done with your design, you want to pour the resin immediately. And I like to start from the center and pour very slowly, having it push those alcohol inks out. This is Mixed Media Girl Artist Resin. And for this project, I'm using about 12 ounces of resin. Now keep in mind, resin is self-leveling, so give it some time to spread out. If you need to, go back in and add a little bit more resin, but do not pour a whole bunch in at the get-go, and then you may overfill your mold. And um, I'm not filling the mold in all the way, by the way. I'm only filling it in about halfway. Otherwise, it will be too thick to make into a bowl. So once you've got your resin in there, you can use a heat gun, you can use some isopropyl alcohol, but you want to make sure that your mold gets filled in completely. Then you're just going to let it sit for about six hours. Now this depends on the resin you're using, as well as the temperature and humidity of your workspace. I keep my workspace around 75 degrees. So typically six hours-ish is good, but if it's colder, sometimes it'll take eight Basically, you want to demold it when it is uh, set. It should not be tacky. If it is, it should be just like a tiny, tiny bit tacky. Definitely should not be sticky or wet still at all. I'm now molding it into my uh, plastic bowl. And this is a 100 ounce approximately bowl that I got from Bed Bath & Beyond. You can use bowls from Amazon or wherever. It's about 11 inches across. And then once I've molded it in there, I let it cure overnight, come back and demold it once it's fully hardened. So I usually just kind of rotate it and gently pull up on the sides until it pops out, which doesn't take a lot. A lot. It should be fairly easy to remove. If you're having trouble removing it, you are probably demolding it a little too early, just as a note. But here's how it looks cured. And I think it is beautiful. And the bottom looks beautiful, which by the way, you can decide to use either side of this for the inside of your bowl. It's totally up to you. There's no wrong or right. I just prefer to use the pattern side on the inside. Thanks for watching. See you next time.